Hello, I am the Maniacal Dr. Watts, and welcome back to Sunless Skies. Last time we investigated a little bit of Karelian and discovered a couple of its secrets. I don't think we made it quite as far as I would have liked, but we know a little bit more about it, and we can always come back. Um, this time we're going to be doing a little bit more exploration in this bottom right-hand corner. Currently looking for Lustrum. Um, I went ahead and purchased an additional supply to fill our hold, and off we go. Oop, that's not what I wanted to do. Hey, can you, there we go. Um, yeah. So we're currently continuing our exploration. Yeah, so last time we visited Carillion, met with a devil S, and to a whole bunch of people who were serving penances. Uh, I should also mention that the de I know the devil. So the devils were in Sunless Sea. I don't think they're like quite evil. Um, they're interesting to say the least. I think we're gonna do this. There's a high chance of success. Um, the only issue is that it can backfire. But I I think we actually want to try and fight the thing that comes out of this. So let's do it. on our sky suits a slim claps box hmm ooh the chorus just prize inside the box is unhappily sticky the cause is a resinous block of nectar that sits in the box's center like a nougat at the heart of a piece of chocolate ooh uh, produced by the gargantuan flowers of the reach, this nectar is zealously sought by the giant hymnal chorister bees who haunt its skies. Oh. And it didn't spawn the thing I want it to. Also, we didn't have to drop anything? I thought we were down a hole. Um, has found something directly ahead of us. Well, luckily I'm already headed there. Um, I'm doing that mainly. We have extra supplies. Um, this looks like, yeah, an abandoned signal box. Um, hmm. Um, we've, we've seen one of these before. Window cracks have, um, accredited uh, a filling of moss green dust. Once white paint is yellowed and peeling, the signal boss possesses a faded dignity like a beleaguered butler. It was designed with pride to be part of that great folly, the uh, Isambard line. Inside, beneath a desk covered with rusted leaves, is a luggage trunk. Captains in dire need can borrow from the cash inside, but custom dictates they must later replenish it. Um... I would like to read the ledger. Um, we can, uh, yeah, so they note their stories to get more of the sky stories. A recent entry, uh, handwriting is poor but legible. Captain Smith uh, deposited materials for hull repair to pay back their debt. There's a common for miscellaneous notes. The captain describes a field of debris they flew through to reach the signal bus. Each rock was bursting uh, with life. Tiny flowers, the color of milk, jostled in the currents of the engine. The locomotive was overwhelmed with the scent of honey and home. So we got two sky stories. Interesting. Let's leave. Interesting. Ooh. Um, we're looking for something inside the belly of a cantankery. Nice. Okay, so we can actually go up against these guys. Let's retrieve the stomach for the uh, phlegmatic researcher. <sighs> Short straws. The shell is too tough to crack, but is large enough to crawl into. And that's what the unlucky winner of an impromptu lottery is obliged to do. They're given a knife and a sou-wester uh, to cover their sky suit and crawl inside. They emerge later dripping and cursing and clutching the reed knot of a stomach. Onwards. That was luckily a success. What the heck is that? A bug. <laughs> the most terrifying thing. 
a bug. Uh, discovered something behind us. Okay. Um, I'll trust then that that's the nearest thing to us, and that means that likely there isn't anything in the fog ahead of us. See, big brain. You gotta use it sometimes. Um, so maybe down here is where we're looking for Lustrum. Um, luckily we're doing fine at the moment. Um, other than our terror is getting somewhat high. Um, some moment that's something I would like to fix. What is that light? Ooh, okay. That's interesting. I don't trust that at all. The Jackson dog. Um, we could strip it for repairs or we could attempt to... The wreck gleams with frost. Its windows are dark. Its engine silent. Perhaps something of value lies within. The damage is so extensive that the whole chassis is on the verge of collapse. Tread lightly. Let's actually strip this one... Um, for repairs. I wonder if these things spawn. Or actually, let's not touch it. Um, it wouldn't cost that much. Um, what the heck? We didn't explore it, though. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. So they just set up a trap. Okay. We're doing somewhat well. Oh, I went right into that one. Come on. Do a U-turn. And we took them down. Uh, let's explore. Ooh, we can either gain sovereigns or seek unusual items. Um, we're doing okay for sovereigns at the moment, so let's seek unusual items. Um, the marauders are rarely democratic. The captain rules by strength and claims the best for his own keep. The cabin door did not survive the onset of your guns, nor did the captain. Uh, you have to tread carefully. The carpet will not be saved. A few scorched documents sit in the bronze wood desk. They make interesting reading. Apparently, London had need of a few brave captains willing to bring fire to the Tacades. You would not have expected the signatures, signatories, signatories of the orders. That's the actually is a real word. Rumors of mutiny. Oh. A pistol has vanished from the armory. Knives are disappearing. The signs of insurrection. Find the parties responsible and dispose of them. Or do nothing. What will come will come. Lower our terror by 50, but increase your nightmares. Let's... Ooh. Okay, we failed at conducting an investigation. Justice. From what little testimony you can coast from the crew and the meager scraps of circumstantial evidence you are able to recover, the most likely suspects are a gunner and a stoker. They protest their innocence during the trial. They are still protesting as you cast them through the exterior doors and lost to the skies. Ooh, I don't trust that. And this guy just came directly for us. And got them. Ooh, okay, right. We also need to collect a trophy. Mm, let's do that. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want to lose crew. We don't really want to gain Sovereign. So let's do that since we need one anyway. We have collected a trophy. Okay, another horror. I 
think this way is the direction we like actually need to go. Although if this way's safer, we might as well visit it, to be honest. Um, I'll go ahead and use the bat again. So we are getting desperately low on crew, however. Um, which is unfortunate. <clears throat> Uh, looks like something we can mine. Oh, why is it so dark down here? For additional hours. Let's continue using the bat a little bit more um, regularly. Ooh. Oh, a station. In the... Oh, what the heck? Who put this station down here? <laughs> Snow laden peaks from the mist uh, and dwarfing the mall, the impossible immensity of the mother of mountains. Okay, oh, I can drive. Um, Lustrum. Okay. The Prospector's Quarter. The frantic, hustling heart of Lustrum, crammed with prospectors, peddlers, and the purveyors of essential and occasionally legal services. Most business takes place here unless you're a dreamer seeking your fortune on the claim fields. So we can either explore Lustrum's or Sweet Jane's Counting House, um, or go to the claim fields, which is where we can get um, hours. Interesting. So what do they sell at the bazaar? Um... Super cheap chorister nectar. Um, or they will buy. I bet you they. So. Oh no, we can buy barrels of ours. Right. Um, Mac Kings. Okay, let's go to the Prospector's Quarters. Let's visit Sweet Jane's County House, since why not? A little uh, accounting firm, snugly in the snowy drifts. A little accountancy firm uh, snuggle in the snowy drifts. Sweet Jane oversees everything herself. The transferences of funds, the balancing of probabilities, the transport of commodities, the termination of contracts. She is huddled behind her desk, swaddling in a monstrously ugly red scarf. While she fiddles with her uh, abacus with one gloved hand, she heats the other over a little coal fire. Her one good eye focuses on you. She smiles. So she apparently has something to offer us. What is... She limps to the window. Snow batters the window pane. The shadow of the mountain is all but lost in the blizzard. The lantern light means the officer of the Windward companies are just about visible. I was raised by the company. Children are uh, faster workers, you understand. Her fingers drum on the window sill. Such a waste. Where they see men, they see labor. Where they see time, they see chains with which to bind us. But where they see death in the skies, I see victory. She turns to you and smiles. Bring me nameplates torn from London's ships. I will see you adequately compensated. Mm. Um, currently we're helping them, so maybe in another life we'll do this. Um, I'm going to decline. We will do no such thing. Sweet Jane turns back to the window and stares at the dizzying snow. Understand on this matter I have no pride. It is too important. The offer will be open if you change your mind. Okay, so we're, we can actually change our mind. And this is why we want to do here. Uh, this is what we wanted to do here. So first, let's write a port report. Ours are the new gold and Albion in the reach, while Lustrum's fortunes remain is of interest to many. So much for the quiet retirement village that used to be here. The rush of prospectors has ripped the uh, civility from the place as efficiently as the geodes from the mountainside. The scars that remain are no less vivid. Fewer and fewer prospectors return with geodes of ours, and the cost of processing them off-site grows every day. Still, for now, Lustrum thrives and offers to promise the riches of any lucky or industrious miner willing to come and risk everything in the snow and the mud. Um, they apparently have a pub. They have a shop. Um, we can set a claim of our own. 
Visit the Windward Company. Sassini Cage. Okay. Uh, let's search for the amenable host's identity. This is the last one we need to go to. Successful prospectors tend to leave their mark on the mountain. People remember those who are able to leave flush with ours. The locket is passed around the camps of prospectors. Most scratch their heads. Others sigh and look away. An elderly prospector approaches approaches, carrying her hat in her hands. You're the one looking for old Gray, she sighs, long dead, shot south of the mountain. Wouldn't share his hours. Fool, no point rising high on the mountains if there's no one at the bottom holding you up. Hmm. Interesting. Presumed dead. Let's visit the pub. An embossed plaque under the hastily painted sign reveals this miner's pubs that have once been the Empress's Lustrum's guest house. Its once fine mahogany tables and chairs are now little bit sawdust on the floor and a lingering smell in the fireplace. Irritable miners jockey for spare but insufficient fireplaces. They pay for the overpriced drinks with their dwindling coin on lowest quality hours. The few, a few. Uh, fortunates bear the mark of minor successes, the baby soft hands that come from regularly handling unseasoned hours. Interesting. <laughs> Those most successful have the most baby soft hands. Biohandic drinks. Approach a figure in the corner. Um, speak with a rare prospector. Ooh. Um, let's approach the figure in the corner. It sits wrapped in a dusty, dis, uh, disintegrated, sh disintegrating shroud, nursing a flagon that never goes to where its lips presumably are. The cloaked figure beckons to you. Valuable for sale, it wheezes, its voice throaty and high-pitched. Okay, so... Eh. Exchange for buried time, yes, please. It offers unusual relics in exchange for a few rusted coins that would bar uh, barely buy transport to anywhere else. Um, interesting. Exchange hours for an otherworldly artifact. Hmm. A watchful curio, nothing special. Hmm. So we can give them interesting for money. Hmm. Return to the miners. Oh. Oh, this is the person the crypto cryptozoologist wanted. Um, let's let's exchange. Let's get one of these otherworldly artif artifacts. A trade is made. Ooh. You provide a fragment of ours for sale. A few seconds at most. Penny snatches them up with the blackened and leathery appendage that reaches out from its shroud. Mister Penny shakes and sniffs the little cigar box. Uh, uh, Mister Penny shakes and sniffs at a little cigar box, and the sprinkling of calcified time within. Yes, it whines. Will do, will suffice. <clears throat> Too airy. <clears throat> we have an otherworldly artifact. Don't know what we can do for that. Okay, now let's introduce the short-sighted cryptozoologist. Obsession at first sight. The cryptozoologist beams with excitement. Oh, I have so many questions. Where does your species come from? How did you learn to speak English? What do you call yourselves? I mean, it can't be curator in your language, right? What's the difference between a master and just a mister? No offense. Oh, what do you look like under that cloak? Are you, are there female curators? She lifts the now terrified looking Mr. Penny's hoods and squeals. You're adorable. How do you fit those wings in there? And you leave her to it. She seems happy enough. Mr. Penny's perhaps not. We can get another one, more sovereigns. Um, yeah. Let's return to the miners. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm not particularly interested in this. I'm not particularly interested. Oh, you know what? We're flush with uh, money. 
prospect are not trusting people. Every new arrival is more competitive, but while the drinks last, you're welcome to sit at their table. Listen up. Um, an elderly prospector and a hulking scarred miner move aside to give you just enough space to squeeze in. Everyone seems to be talking shop. More importantly, everyone at the table appears to have at least some luck out here. About the mountain, about mining. Uh, let's listen about recent troubles. It's them windward bastards, ain't it? Didn't mind them sitting round their netties. Honest competition. Lads enjoyed the distraction. But did you see the state of that Parzifad lad? Parzifal lad. Miner's huddle. That weren't windward. Them, that's them night hunters they talk of. Tearing folks up with their claws and teeth and eating them whole. All you see is a black rush before your eyes and then snap. Okay, so we can continue to get more stuff. Let's return to the street. Um, and then... Let's explore Lustrum. A tale of two ports. Your boots crunch through the snow, clean and bright, lacking the lingering sadness of Linden's ammonia sophist uh, lacquer. The townspeople nod politely to you. A distinguished visitor, but avert their eyes from the grizzled prospectors and get rich quick merchants who have taken over their slice of civilization on the mountain. They wait impatiently for a day. The mountain has nothing more to offer, and the uncouth invaders finally leave, hoping that something still remains when all of value has finally been plundered. Hmm, okay. Um, let's visit uh megatroids <laughs> megatron uh Mer yeah mercatroids golden tea shop some come for the fine teas other for the carefully prepared manila folders underneath the counter all agree that the scones are divine an oasis of london civility and culture in a town with little of either metal Melazine uh, Murgatroyd I, I kind of just want to call her Megatron now stands proudly behind the display of fresh scones and slightly yellowed cream buns a small wooden table uh, at small wooden tables uh, successful, successful prospectors and their significant others welcome themselves to the world of Nouvelle Riche with a spot of afternoon tea I probably butchered that Pinky fingers stand proud and erect from bone china cups co uh, covertly topped with moonshine. We can enjoy a lovely cup of tea or we can speak to the madam. She single-handedly runs both the family business and the family business. Unless you count the small gaggle of overworked and underpaid maids, which uh, uh, the madam does not. We can look at her uh, inventions. Smelling faintly of burned hair, she tinkers with the latest inventions intended to be her ticket out of both this no horse town and her father's control. Eyebrows, she confirms, are a small price to pay for scientific progress. We can trade spy intelligence. Oh, two uncanny secrets for a savage secret. Okay, I'm actually going to do this um, because we savage secrets seem hard to get she accepts your finds and presents the fruits of her own eavesdropping M. Bazalget's uh, agents have been heading for Port Prosper new murmurs of sedation after Windward's latest incident assorted snippets from as far as the Blue Kingdom you make careful notes and file them away for future exploitation um, so we can either return to the uh, shop. We'll look at her inventions. Let's let's look at her inventions. An assortment of terrible opportunities. The madam glows with pride as you examines her mostly untested inventions. The clockwork lens array that offers superhuman level of telescopic sight, provided you can insert all six sharp brass hooks under your eyelids. The internal com Bustin Privy, ideal for handling unpleasant waste products and warming whatever's left uh, of your house after the inevitable explosion. 
an automated pickaxe capable of striking Earth seven times a second. Uh, the madam nods, irritated. Pity about the minor bone-shattering issue. <laughs> the only thing she won't let you poke at is a twisted arrangement of glassware and electricity in the corner. That's not mine, not entirely. I'm still working on that. Complicated. Uh, you know if you know. If you don't, I shouldn't say. Okay, let's return to the shop. Um... And let's also enjoy a lovely cup of tea. Her maids hurry around, serving the clientele more used to uh, bellowing at bartenders than sitting politely with exquisitely cut cucumber sandwiches. Eventually, it's your turn to be served. You are invited to choose your preferred blend. Um, ooh, Empress Favor, Lutheran Gold, or Indulgence Blend. This last one's from the Blue Kingdom. Um, let's go with the taste of home. Our terror has fallen. Blue Sovereigns. And we have sampled the favor. Let's return to town. Um, let's go ahead and visit the Windward Company. The Windward Company was not the first to begin harvesting the mountain, but no other came in harder or faster once the hours were detected. The company began by bribing prospectors to sign over successful claims, and even offering to help process lucky prospectors' hours in their huge factory ovens. But netty men are cheap, and big sticks are even cheaper. As the claims began running out, things changed quickly. Now the whole facility is out of bounds. The guard is uninterested in any business you might have. No, she does not know who you are, who care, or, or care who you may be friends with. This branch is a closed facility. Certainly it is closed to you. Okay, so we can't visit them. Hmm. Seems like we're done here, so perhaps not. Um... What is this? Search for a claim. Hmm. Attempt to climb the mountain. Okay. I'm not particularly interested in either one of those. If we had a need for, like, a lot of these, I suppose that would be useful. Um. I don't really want another hour. So one of these will do just fine. Um, and I think with that, um, I'd like to make my way to Magdalene's. So let's go ahead and leave. Um, and let's see how far we This darkness is freaking me the heck out. Why is it so dark? Like, it's almost oppressively dark. Let's see. Um... Let's fight this cantankery. Um. Oh! So the sound of that thing far off, knowing that we're here, uh, slightly bothers me. Okay. Yeah, let's try and... Um, get through here. Uh, gain sovereigns. Um, I can't. Uh, let's try to gain sovereigns then. Eleven sovereigns. Okay, that's not really worth it. Yeah, let's let's just get the heck out of here. I don't. Okay, I don't know what's up with the music. I don't like the color of this place. What the. Heck is that? 
Okay, this place is horrible. The thing in the mist. A sudden jolt. I think we hit something, Professor Driver observes. The mists are thick, so you uh, could turn back or search for it. Okay. Keep going. Double back. Um, it would use up fuel. Offer whatever uh, it was to the bur burrower below. The burrower wants a tunnel pass through the sky. She is always hungry. Uh-huh. That gets her attention. Offer whatever it is to the waste waif. Um, it likes toys. Uh-huh. Okay, so these must be the three gods of the sky. Um, we have yet to, like, talk to any one of them. All three of these involve fortune. Um... Let's keep going. Oh, blissful ignorance. Better not know. Whatever treasure hoard debris wander through your path, you will leave it to the mists. Okay. Oh, dang it. Come on. Okay, I want to get the heck out of here. Desolation of Saliba? Saliba? Yeah, I don't like that place. Like at all. Um, and now we have a clear path to Magdalene. Like at some point we should explore through there. There's probably plenty of interesting stuff there. Ooh. I don't really want to fight this cantankery if we ha like don't have to. I'll turn off my lights for a moment. Um, the fact that that guy is smoking doesn't seem great. Is that a tackety? Um, should head down. I'll quickly send out the bat to see if there's anything of, like, particular interest. There's something up there. Um, I don't think we're going to do anything with it, though. Um, you know what would actually be worth it here? Is... Ooh. Ooh. Nope. Let's leave it untouched. Mm -mm. Um, we, I was going to strip it for parts. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. That could have gotten us crew. You know what, then? Actually. Um, yeah, I wasn't paying attention. That's a nine. Oh, dang it. Okay. Oh, so you shouldn't interact with them unless you plan on doing something. That's good to know. I wonder if those randomly spawn? I think I said that before. If they're static, that sucks, because that means that we just wasted that one effectively. If they aren't, though, then... Um, it doesn't, like, particularly matter. Oh, my goodness. This was a lot more space than I was expecting. Um, a stowaway. Oh. Something is amiss. Things are out of place. Unexplained cracker crumbs on the pantry floor. The chief engineer's favorite wrench hung on the wrong hook. Several empty pages turn, torn from the back of your logbook. The crew protest their innocence and contribute their own stories. Vanished shoelaces, doors left open, oily footprints on a door frame. You have a stowaway. So we can either conduct a thorough search or coax them out. I think we want to keep the tales of terror. I have a funny feeling this spins them. Let's instead... Ooh. 
empty-handed. Try as you might, you find no sign of your uninvited passenger. Whoever it is, they've gone to ground. May get another chance. Hopefully we do. Okay, so we're leaving the coal. Send out the back again. Is this something we can mine? You know what, let's go explore that. Um, I'm not quite sure how to get there. Guessing we need to, okay, we actually need to go down. We're doing fine for the moment. Exactly, I was talking about. Ooh, more hours. You know, it's interesting that the bank doesn't have all the problems that we have with storing our stuff. Makes me wonder what exactly they do uh, to be able to keep it all like safe. By the way, this is cruise control. So instead of having to constantly hold forward, you can just hit a button and, and you just move. Um, oh my goodness. I just noticed how high our horror is. Um, Let's, oh, come on, no. Um, all right. Let's treat our terror. Mmm. Let's uh, request treatment for guilt. You are not sinless. You've lost one, yeah. The attendant nods solemnly. Congratulations, your last entry in the journal. He makes a note in a large red leather bound book. Today's journal at any rate. Um, the attendant holds up a candle before the doors of mirrored glass. Four of our staff are available today. Each has their own specialty. Their names are not yours to know, only their craft. He smiles suddenly, his teeth gleaming like links to it on a chain. You know yourself best. Who can tend your wounded heart? Whoever you need, you can find behind one of these doors. Um, let's do a very boring individual indeed. Terror fades. You recognize the lady as soon as you enter the room. She has been serving soup at the round table for some even lowlier establishment beneath the bri bridges of New Winchester. Had you made a cutting remark? Perhaps you were less than complimentary about the soup. Well, no matter, for here she is now, armed with turins for you to sample. A strain to barstool has been provided for your cover comfort. A stained barstool. That was an okay amount of... Um, stuff, but, um, ooh, that's interesting, um, but I think, um, we're going to talk to the host next time. If you enjoyed this episode, subscribe, you gotta hit the little bell for notifications, leave a like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.